Rogers, of course. In this economy, our next guest really has seen his company do very well. U.S. sales have tripled in the past three years. Joining me now is Mark Dixon, CEO and founder of Regis, the world's largest provider of flexible workspace. First of all, congratulations on a huge success. Secondly, uh, explain to us what is a flexible workspace? Well, basically, a flexible workspace is a, a fully furnished office building with all the support staff, with all the IT that you can use for a, a day or an hour or have a branch office for a year. And they're available all over the United States. We have about 500 buildings and in 90 countries around the world. Mark, what's driving this? Is it, is it small entrepreneurs? Uh, when I started my company, I actually looked into using your, your uh, workspace, and I actually have friends who do as well. Is it the mm -hmm. small entrepreneur or, or large businesses finding a use for your product as well? Well, it, well it's both. Um, we're the natural home for small entrepreneurs, but we've got companies that are growing quickly, companies like Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, who, who grow around the world in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in months uh, using our facilities. Um, but also very large corporations looking to uh, reduce costs by moving people to flexible working and um, improve work-life balance for employees. Um, so it's a win-win it's a whether you're growing or whether you're looking to uh, reduce costs and gain flexibility in your business. Mark, um, there's a lot of competition coming into your space, uh, particularly from startups. I actually met a, the CEO of a startup company whose name actually escapes me right now, of course. But they're starting an online version of what you're doing, using flexible office space across major metropolitan cities here in the United States, getting backing from Excel Partners. And I still can't remember the name, but I'll bring it up to you in a second. Um, yeah. how, how are you dealing with the smaller guys that, in theory, can offer up the same sort of value proposition even perhaps at a, at a lower cost and uh, have a lot less overhead? Well, I think, you know, how are we dealing with it? Basically, it's a growing market. Um, our, as you said, our business has tripled over the last three years. We're up to nearly a million users, and we expect that to grow into the future. There's about 75 million flexible workers in the United States alone. So it's a growing market. There's lots of space. Where we're different is we have a, a national network, so that if you take an office in New York or Washington, you can actually use offices all over the country, but also all over the world. It's a subscription to uh, 1,100 buildings worldwide. And, and no one else, you know, that sort of size and that flexibility globally and nationally just isn't there from the startups. Mark, one of the things that you have to manage is um, is real estate prices. I mean, that's a sector that hasn't done well, no matter where in the globe you may find yourself. How do you manage the dynamics of what's happening with um, the commercial real estate industry and then also the, the fundamentals of, of what you're trying to, to, to provide to entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and, and big businesses, which is just room to grow? Yeah, I mean, for us, it's it's... We work in partnership with landlords, property owners, investors all over the world. And we're really providing the middleware between this growing group of flexible workers and real estate, which is a very fixed thing where companies and corporations are used to doing very large deals. They're not very good at doing small deals. And remember, people are using us for maybe a drop-in for half an hour. A real estate company is not very good at dealing with that. So we supply all of that to owners of real estate around the world and add value to what they have, provide them with cash flow and allow them to tap into this growing flexible work market. Mark, uh, you're really one of the best known uh, entrepreneurs uh, in Europe. And, you know, lately we've heard about consumer confidence plummeting. Uh, IMF just lowered their outlook for the Western world and their economies. Does mm -hmm. your success, though, however, reflect that there's something else going on, particularly in this country, that there are entrepreneurs that are trying to still achieve the American dream and, and in essence that there's still hope for our country. There is definitely hope. I mean, good entrepreneurs aren't sort of looking at the newspapers and saying everything's bad. They're investing. You know, it's a, it's a great time to be in business if you're investing. And, uh, you know, some of the greatest businesses in the world today were established in recessions or depressions in, in years past. You know, it's there's it's always a good time to get out there and actually do it. If, if you can raise the money and get on and do it, then you should do that. That's what we're doing. Well, you've done it uh, like nobody else. Congratulations on your success. Mark Dixon, CEO. And